Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you guys are having a good Thursday, albeit a bit on the gloomier side. Clouds have made their way across the state line, kind of dampering just how warm it feels as we're currently sitting at 36 degrees. Feels like, though, not too bad at 34 with winds on the calmer side. A much more improvement than what we were at yesterday. When it comes to our Rock River Kia Max Storm Tracker, our northern counties are under a winter weather advisory as snow is expected to start overnight tonight. There is a little bit of snow showing up on our Rock River on the radar, but when it comes to it, we are just overly dry, so I don't think any of those flurries are hitting the ground, and I don't think any snow will hit the ground until we get after the midnight hour. So staying mostly cloudy throughout the day, highs in the mid 40s should be a decent day, still below normal, but not half bad. But as we head into our overnight hours, that is when the system of snow starts to make its way across the state line, and it's really going to stay just north of the state line. It's really going to be a rather thin edge of where exactly it's going to end up at as there is going to be a narrow band that could produce some very heavy snowfall. But as of today and as of now, I think it'll stay much more closer to Madison than it will here towards the state line. So I still think we'll get a decent amount of snow after everything is set and done. And I do think by the time we get towards the afternoon, we should dry out. But when it comes to impacts, I think they will be very limited just uh, due to a few factors. The European model is currently giving us right around an inch or so of snow. I think we'll see more two to three inches, especially with how wet and heavy this snow will be. But when it comes to our ground, I think it's going to be quite warm. So I think a lot of the snow that will hit the ground will melt, meaning your commute might be a bit on the slushier side. But I think by the time we get towards the afternoon on Friday, we should have good things when it comes to our travel. I do think, though, overpasses and bridges might be impacted a little bit more due to them being a little bit more exposed to that cooler air. But lows right around that 30 degree mark aren't really too promising when it comes to heavy sticking when it comes to our snow on Friday. I do think we have another chance on Sunday when it comes to some lighter snow overnight Saturday and the Sunday, but not expecting anything when it comes to accumulation. Saturday, though, looks to be extremely pleasant, seeing a lot of sunshine. Northeasterly winds are going to keep us on the cooler side. Highs in the mid to few places in the upper 30s, but going to be below what we normally see. Here is the snow that we could see as we head into sun uh, overnight Saturday into Sunday morning, but again, not really expecting much in terms of accumulation. I do think though we will turn towards quite a wet pattern as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Highs in the upper 50s on for our Monday, but we'll see a decent amount of rainfall as a big upper level trough makes its way across the United States. And with that, looks like we're going to be warm on Monday. We're also going to see quite a bit of rainfall. As of now, looks like we could see maybe an inch or so of rain. So just keep that in mind as we head into Tuesday could still see some rain showers high of 45 before Wednesday up to 49 degrees.